Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are again with Hive Mining OS. So uh, as always, before we begin, please consider subscribing to the channel and also turn on post notifications so you always know when I upload a new video. And also if you haven't already done, you can go to my channel to the playlist and go to the Hive OS playlist and you can watch the other videos before you continue with this one today. Okay, so uh, basically as you can see, here we have a new interface of the web page. They have changed uh, it today because yesterday was uh, the old version of uh, this page. So they have changed the main page also. Uh, this is the Hive OS main page. Then we have in here the Hive, OS, uh, Hive on pool because uh, if you don't know already, Hive OS now has its own pool. Obviously, don't worry. I will take a look and I will make a video only for the pool of Hive OS. So stay tuned for that. And obviously we have another page only for the community, Hive on community. So if you like to join the Hive OS community, you can go to the Hive on, open an account there, and then uh, uh, you can chat with other people that are, are using Hive OS. So uh, yeah, basically we are today at another part of our journey we have learned till now how to flash the drive how to open it on our mining rig and then we learn uh, we learned how to create our farms and how to add our rigs to our farms and then obviously we learned how we can create wallets and uh, and how we can create and uh, modify and use the flight sheet in order to begin to mine with our rigs after we have added them and now obviously we are at the point where we are mining but obviously we are mining with the stock settings of our cars obviously if we uh, we if we have added a new mining rig so basically the next step we need to do right now is go ahead and modify or let's say overclock in this case our video cards or um, tune them let's say uh, to the best option possible uh, to our uh, to what our graphics cards can do in order to mine uh, to mine with better hash rate and better efficiency. Obviously, as you can see in here, I have already modified my video cards uh, of my preferred tune. But obviously, uh, if it was a new rig, then you would see default clocks in here. Sorry, my my phone is ringing. Okay, uh, so uh, basically, you would have default clocks in here. Uh, default uh, DPM uh, voltage, uh, which is around one volts, I think, for the 470, 1.1 if you have uh, 570 or 580, and so on. And memory, what uh, the default clock is. So basically, how we can tune um, uh, the graphics cards uh, to mine uh, to mine with better hash rate and uh, consume less power, uh, it's by uh, clicking this. Uh, uh, this icon in here obviously it's uh, it seems like an overboost or something and we can modify but i will show you the classic way so basically we need to go to the overclocking session because we have uh, an overclocking session only for the overclock so as you can see in here the default configuration it's my configuration that i have done because i have changed the default configuration uh, to my preferred settings and before we begin uh, with this part, I must say on thing, uh, one thing and you have to keep this thing in mind uh, because uh, I have been asked and I have seen many people that ask other people uh, to tell them what settings should they use for their rigs. For example, uh, I have seen people say I have uh, 1080s, uh, 1080 Ti, so what settings should I use or I have 580 Sapphire, what settings should I use? You must know one thing, no video card, it's the same as another video card and obviously no rig, it's the same as another rig. There are too many variables um, uh, involved in this process that uh, obviously um, one settings can work uh, in many many different rigs but this does not mean that with a hundred percent certainty you will have uh, the better uh, the better configuration for hash rate and efficiency with that setting on every different card and on every different mining rig uh, because it depends for example uh, for example, uh, my default settings are Core 1, uh, 1, uh, 1150, 
uh, DPM5 voltages and 150 and memory to uh, 2100, 2100 and 1880 for the third video card and fan speed is 60, 70, 60 uh, as you can see uh, I have set uh, different settings because it needed to be done like this if I had set uh, the same settings for all the video cards I begin uh, I begin getting errors or maybe I can I can uh, consume more energy if I make another settings or uh, so uh, the basic stuff is that if you see my settings like this for these video cards it does not mean that a hundred percent these settings it will work best for your mining rig so basically what you need to do is start with a safe setting and then from there begin uh, begin ex experimenting with your mining rig obviously if you don't have time then you can use uh, um, a default clock or uh, default settings for all your mining rigs but uh, to get a better hash rate and better efficiency it's best to begin with a safe uh, setting and then from there go up go down it depends uh, on the settings that your mining rig is stable it mines better and obviously consumes uh, less energy so basically for AMD cards, um, uh, usually for uh, uh, 470s, 480s, 570s, 580s, which are the most used card, uh, I consider safe settings uh, with a core speed of 1100, DPM at default, uh, voltage at least at 950, then memory at 2000 megahertz or maybe even lower. You can begin with 1900 megahertz and fan speed. Obviously, you can set it uh, uh, depending on the temperature which you like to keep your uh, graphic cards. I like to keep them uh, mine under 60, better under 55 degrees Celsius. So uh, the temperature depends on your needs, but uh, the lower the temperature, the better it is, obviously. Then after you have set that, uh, those clocks in there, then you can and see that the rig is stable, obviously, because you need to test that the rig is stable with those settings. Then from there you can begin uh, overclocking first the memory because most of the algorithms uh, uh, benefit the most from the memory than from the core clock. I don't recommend for the core clock uh, of the AMD go higher than, than uh, 1200 because um, it's not uh, it's not worth it um, except the case when you are mining a coin or a or a certain algorithm that uses the GPU most uh, or that profits most from the GPU than from the memory so uh, then uh, in that case you can use the GPU but obviously you will consume more energy and you will risk to damage your risers or even your cables so basically uh, you can go to the default configuration in here click the button modify and you can modify the settings or uh, maybe you can uh, uh, you can set a new uh, a new overclock settings with the plus sign in here you can click and you can create your own settings and basically for amd card first uh, the first thing you need to do is to choose your algorithm which you want to use at hash has all the coins which uh, you can mine with ash at hash uh, if you want to mine the kryptonite v7 with your mining rig we have kryptonite heavy we have equihash kryptonite Kryptonite Lite, Visa. So this is a good thing that um, the developers have done with the HiveOS that you can choose your uh, your uh, your algorithm and you can set your uh, your default settings for that uh, uh, certain algorithm. And as I told you before, this is because there are certain algorithms that uh, may may benefit from the memory clock, but there are certain algorithms that may benefit from the GPU clock. But obviously this does not mean that um, uh, a certain uh, settings with one algorithm will be uh, as stable as it is on, an, uh, on another algorithm. So uh, again, you have to test and uh, play with the settings with your mining rigs. So after you choose your algorithm, I'm going to choose, uh, choose F hash in this, in this case, and then you can go and move forward core clock you can set it um, uh, as you like it but as I told you begin with a safe settings uh, with uh, 1100 I consider a safe settings then you can go uh, with the core state of 5 which is the default settings you can leave this on 5 then the core voltage um, you can say that uh, you can see that um, uh, 
you can set it to it depends on the card but uh, i consider a safe setting to be 950 maybe a little bit higher to be on the safe side obviously you, you will consume more energy but it depends uh, from video card to video card and from rig to rig then you can go for the memory clock as you can see in here uh, i have three values and uh, reason is because my third video card uh, does not work more than 1880 because I have tested it so um, you can set uh, for every video card for every graphic card you can set a certain uh, a certain speed so as you can see uh, 2100 for the first video card GPU 0 as you can see uh, 21 then space then 2100 for the uh, second GPU or GPU 1 then space and then 1880 for the third GPU or GPU 2 and so on if you have more than 3 GPUs, 8 GPUs, 10 GPUs you just uh, add space and then add the value uh, of uh, of the memory clock which is but in my case I have only three video cards so so you see only three values in here if you want to set the same memory clock for all the video cards then you delete all the others and leave just one value like I have done here in the clock in the core clock uh, settings uh, this means that uh, the same clock will be for all the video cards memory state i don't recommend you to play much with the memory state because it can get your uh, your mining rig uh, a little bit unstable you better leave it on default so don't enter any value in here but then um, after you have tested that is stable you can try and play a little bit with the memory state but uh, it's not that you can profit too much from this okay then you go to the fan speed obviously you can set your own fan speed uh, I like to keep it to, uh, to 60 but it depends on the temperatures uh, sorry as I told you for the memory clock I rather begin with 1900 to be the safest memory clock uh, but obviously if you have 480s if you have 570s or um, or uh, five uh, or 580s from the AMD section you uh, Obviously, you can begin with 2000, maybe 2100, but it depends from GPU to GPU. Uh, but it, be uh, but it, uh, it is better to begin with a safe clock. Then you just click on save and we have just created a new overclock setting. Okay, then basically that's, uh, that was it for the overclocking and the settings which you can use for your AMD graphics card. If you want to modify NVIDIA graphics card, obviously we can do it in here because my rig is set as an AMD card. Uh, so you have to go to your farm again, to the farm which you have the uh, NVIDIA, uh, the NVIDIA uh, rigs and then go to overclocking profiles. And in here you have the current one, which I, uh, which is the default one. And then you can click on uh, add overclocking profile. You can enter a name, for example, let's say Nvidia. In this case, click on save and it will be created. Then click on edit. You select in here Nvidia or AMD, but in this case Nvidia. Then for the core clock, I suggest you begin only with 100 plus megahertz because as I told you, uh, most of the coins an algorithm does not profit for the core clock then for the memory clock there is a catch in here in hive os you must enter the double uh, uh, double the value which you use to enter in the afterburner so for example if you want to overclock your memory let's say with uh, 500 megahertz in hive os you have to enter not 500 but you have to enter uh, to enter 1000 and uh, with 1000 uh, of value in here this means that you have overclocked your memory uh, of the nvidia graphics card with 500 megahertz but my suggestion obviously to be safe it's begin with 300 megahertz on the memory clock which in this case it's double the value so you must enter 600 megahertz so you can be safe then for the fan speed you can leave it to zero so it will use auto fan if you want to set your own fan speed you can set your own fan speed uh, for 70 percent for example um, then uh, the uh, as for the power limit i suggest you begin with the 80 uh, 80 percent of the power limits so um, 
so then after you see that your mining rig is stable then you can change this one uh, to another value maybe higher if it's not stable maybe lower uh, to consume less energy uh, i have seen some people gone as low as 60 percent on power and obviously the video cards with 60 percent of, of the energy consume uh, very very little uh, uh, energy compared to the stock but obviously you need to have uh, not uh, uh, not too much aggressive core clock and memory clock to be able to achieve that but obviously you can try with your different cars that you may have so um, again as always you have to try different settings and see which works best for you then obviously you have the option to turn off the led uh, the led lighting if your if your video cards have them then you can use the ogad on f largement pill which is um, the one uh, uh, which you can use with all the video cards that have the memory type gddr5 x uh, uh, which obviously is going to ha um, uh, to give you much better hash rate but uh, but uh, it will consume more uh, uh, a little bit more energy but uh, this is up to you if you want to to use that uh, or not then uh, then uh, basically you are all done uh, as for the nvidia modification in here and yeah basically it's the same thing if you like to modify uh, to modify um, uh, to modify uh, uh, or to uh, sorry to enter different settings for different video cards is the same thing you just uh, uh, you just uh, enter space and then you enter another value for example 200 megahertz plus on the second gpu then 100 plus if you like to uh, to modify them differently obviously the same thing for the memory clock but remember again if you like to uh, overclock your memory clock to 200 you must set 400 in here if you like to mod uh, to add to the memory uh, overclock 500 megahertz you need to enter 1000 value in here and you are all done then you click on save and uh, you have just created an overclock profile for your nvidia video cards okay and basically that's it uh, this is how you can overclock your video cards obviously if you have any question you can ask them on the comment section i will try i will try to answer you guys uh, for all the question you may have and yeah as always don't forget to subscribe again uh, also like and share my videos uh, invite your friends to join us and yeah thanks very much for watching and see you on the next one bye bye